Hello, everyone. I thought I would go live because um, I don't seem to, uh, when I do the videos, I don't seem to download them. So I'm just going to start going live. And I am going to do a um, review of the Simplicity 8. 023 bow tie. The bow tie is very um, simple. It's three pieces, and um, you have a piece like this, and the square, and this. This is just um, cutting board, the thin cutting boards from Dollar um, Tree. You get two um, in a pack for a dollar, and I just copied it because I'm going to be doing these patterns a lot. So, But you really don't need a pattern for a bow tie because the um, back is like two inches. You could just use your ruler and do it, but um, I use the pattern most times. And this is what the bow tie comes out to look like. Um, I make a few changes on the bow tie. Now, I'm doing bow ties for a friend who, um, she does the um, Cinderella Goes to the Prom Project. She does um, prom dresses for girls who can't really afford to go to the prom, don't have the financial resources to do it. So I'm doing bow ties to um, raise money for her. So um, it took me a while to get the bow tie how I wanted it to be. Some, some things that I did differently than the simplicity pattern. One of the things that I did differently was the knot, which is this piece which is this piece, and you fold it over. And I didn't give it a, um, I think they said give it a 3 eighths or a 5 eighths. I, I thought that piece was too wide once I sewed it. I lined it up with the fold and an inch, and I did the um, seam an inch um, here. So the knot is not as wide. Here's the knot here. The knot isn't as wide. I thought it was a little wide, too wide when, um, you know, when I followed the directions there. So, and another thing was the, um, interfacing. Interfacing is, has a width of 20 and this is 11. This piece is 11. I didn't really want to waste the interfacing, so I did the interfacing pieces 10. And when you do it 10, how you sew it, you don't really need interfacing up there anyway because that's the seam. So um, that's a way not to waste interfacing um, when you do do it. And there was something else that I also do. Oh, the when you when you have it done, when you have your two done. And you turn it, you, you know, you leave the um, opening here. They said you have to sew it up. I don't sew them up. Um, I put them on top of each other. And then how I fold it is I go down center. Then I go up to the fold. You see that? Then I go up, back. To the fold. And what's good to use, you know, the little rubber bands for um, braiding, like for the hair, little ponytail rubber bands. This, I believe, is better than the um, rubber band or thread because it holds it, but it doesn't hold it real tight. It holds it. Um, loosely, just enough pressure on it that it looks like a nice bow. And what I didn't, um, I used to, ne I never, I had these, but never really used them. To turn your um, ties, I have one because I'm working on some more right now. To turn your ties using these, turners it's a godsend because I would put a I know I'm not the only one I would use a um, safety pin and do it see I didn't 
So, you know, on the thing it says sew across, but I don't want the extra step because I don't need it sewed across. I don't use the one with the pointer. I want it to come. Let me use the one without the pointer. But you just stick it in there. And, and pull it out. How easy is that? I I never realized I I had I had gotten these a few years ago, but I never really used it. I used it to pick the um, corners, like on things, the the sharp one. But I never realized that this is what this is for. And the thing about this is, you my iron is set up because you have to iron at each step, like I iron at each step, and I just put the seam in the center, and just iron it flat. Now this. Ooh, I do it a little bigger. I think I do this on three fourths because I think that it had a half. I think it looked better on the with the hardware if it's fatter. I just think it looks better, neater. I do it a little fatter than um, I do believe what the pattern calls for. So I got my hardware from. Um, Amazon and Amazon um, do they give a no they don't give you a direction on how to um, put the hardware on but I had something that told me how to put the hardware on and I should show you guys or I should post it but it's online it's, I mean if you look at a bra strap and you see with a bra strap how to do the I know I had it somewhere um you see with a bra strap how to um, put it on. But let me show you. Although I don't have the, since we are here, I'll show you how to do it. Now, um, let, let me iron this real quick. This is this is why live is um, not really that good. But, um, okay. I ironed it real quick. I ironed the seam in the center. Now, when you put the hardware on, the seam is up. The seam is up. First thing you have to do, and I got these little things to put them in at um, from um, Walmart, I think. Yeah, Walmart, that's where I got it. Wow, my connection is, is off. I don't know. What, I'm in the shed, so I know why it's off. First thing you have to do is do this one, okay? And with the seam is here. The front is there. You're going to pull it in. Let me move my hand so you can see. You're going to pull it in like that. See that first hole? Then you're going to pull it up back through the top. You're on the bottom. You're going to pull it back up through the top. Now, I usually turn it down, turn this down a little bit. Um, I don't sew it. I use some um, some tape-like and sew it and, and um, turn it down just so it has a neat, um, it has a neat appearance on it. But I'm going to pin it so you guys can see. Okay, so you have that piece on. Now, don't forget to do this. You want to take... You want to take this piece. Okay, this is the seam here. The seam is here. And the front is here. You want to have that um, edge right here on the front. You see that? So this is how you want it to look. Now you want to take your your um, end, this end here, and thread it through here. You want to go through the top. Usually I have this um, sewn. I tack it down so um, it'll be neater, but you know, it's up to how you want to do it. 
and you want to pull this in making sure it stays neat and then you want to Yeah, don't forget your bow tie is going to be next. So my, you don't do your bow tie yet. And it, so now you just adjust it. Okay, see how that's adjusting? I'm trying to watch my pin. My pin wouldn't be there because I would have sewn it. And now it's time for the bow tie. Now this is the. This is a bow tie I just did. Pretend that it has the thing around it on it. Um, and what you do is you just take a pin, safety pin, pin it, and go up under the, um, you know, that piece that goes here. But I forgot to tell you about the piece that goes here. I don't, I think they said this is too long. So I fold it and put a seam an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter is perfect to put the bow tie in. So I do an inch and a quarter. And then what I, how I put the, um, how I put the center in, I take a rubber band. rubber band it and then I just push it in and, and put it right on the center and I just take my rubber band off and fluff it however I want it so yeah so after you put it in say it's, it's in the bow tie the bow tie is here let me put it in the um, although I don't have the center I'm going to put it on the, um, I have the rubber band. Okay, the bow tie is here. Now what you have to do is do the last hardware. And the last hardware is this. It's this clip. Now the trick with the clip is, the clip does not go down, this, piece, this edge doesn't go down toward the neck. It goes out. So what I always do, because I always forget, I always put it on my edge out. I always put it on the edge out so I'm not forgetting and then I thread it I put it because I know I you know if you can remember sometimes I'm just you know doing whatever and I just forget so let me double check that no something's wrong here uh, wait a minute See, I'm forgetting now. We want to go down. Okay. And then you sew that. So when the bow tie is hooked, it hooks like this from the back. And it's done. I also, on the directions, they wanted you to hand sew this knot um, in the center. I don't like to hand sew, so I try to find opportunities where I don't have to. So you putting it on, folding it, doing a seam at one and a quarter, and pushing it through your bow tie gives you no hand sewing at all on this. Even um, the center things, it, you, you're not going to see that. It's just not going to be an issue. So I hope that you got something from my tutorial on this bow tie. And I believe they, they've they come out very good. Um, I got quite a few. Oh, here's the finish. Here's the finished one. Yeah, And if you see the back, I didn't hand sew it. I use the machine, and you don't see the center that they want you to hand sew. It's, you can't see it. 
So, um, I think it came out very nice. Okay, guys. I'll see you later.